Huge plumes of smoke billowed over Kfar Seir village in southern Lebanon on Thursday as Israeli shelling intensified along the Lebanese border. A video obtained by the Associated Press showed large plumes of smoke rising from a forest in Kfar Seir. Lebanon has been on the brink of all-out war with Israel for the past year, with Israel and Hezbollah trading fire and Israeli warplanes breaking the sound barrier over Beirut almost daily, terrorizing people in their homes and offices. Hezbollah began striking Israel almost immediately after Hamas' October 7 attack that sparked the war in Gaza. Israeli soldiers staffed a new artillery position in the Israel-controlled Golan Heights as tensions rise on the border with Lebanon. It comes after the leader of Hezbollah vowed to keep up daily strikes on Israel, despite this week's mass bombing attack on its communication devices, and said Israelis displaced by the fighting from homes near the Lebanon border would not be able to return until the war in Gaza ends. Hezbollah and Israel launched fresh attacks across the border as Hassan Nasrallah spoke for the first time since the deadly device bombings he described as a severe blow. He promised to retaliate. The two days of attacks targeting thousands of Hezbollah pagers and walkie-talkies have been widely blamed on Israel, heightening fears that 11 months of near-daily exchanges of fire between Hezbollah and Israel will escalate into all-out war. In recent weeks, Israeli leaders have stepped up warnings of a potential larger military operation against Hezbollah, saying they are determined to stop the group's fire to allow tens of thousands of Israelis to return to homes near the border. In a Thursday briefing, the Israeli defense minister said Hezbollah would pay an increasing price as Israel seeks to make conditions near its border with Lebanon safe enough for residents displaced by the fighting to return. Israeli warplanes dropped flares over the Beirut sky on Thursday, shortly before breaking the sound barrier, at the same time Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah was delivering a televised speech from an undisclosed location. The planes flew low over Beirut, breaking the sound barrier with two loud booms, scattered birds and prompted people in homes and offices to quickly open windows to prevent them from shattering. Nasrallah said the mass bombing attack against Hezbollah using its communications devices was a severe blow and said Israel had crossed a red line. But he vowed the group would emerge stronger and continue its daily strikes into northern Israel. As he was making his speech, Hezbollah and the Israeli military traded new strikes over the border. 
Fears are rising that 11 months of exchanges of fire between the two sides will escalate into all-out war, particularly after this week's unprecedented bombings, which detonated hundreds of pagers and walkie-talkies used by Hezbollah. At least 37 people were killed and some 3,000 wounded in the explosions, which appeared to be the culmination of a months-long operation by Israel to target as many Hezbollah members as possible all at once, but which also hit civilians. The attack came as Israeli leaders have warned that they could launch a stepped-up military operation against Hezbollah, saying they are determined to stop the group's fire to allow tens of thousands of Israelis to return to homes near the border.